has been a one-sided occasion. All right. So I don't know why my dude got burnt there, but, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes cover fours are weird. That's why I usually don't like picking cover four. But, you know, that kind of work. Sets them up here on this play. The defense Start gets bringing a sack. that Miami nice Heat. He's going to run hurry up. The sack. They ask and a lot of these guys what now. I'm going to do here. Players in the NFL. Stopping the run and the speed to get outside and get the sacks on the quarterback, too. Gets away from the Heat. They've got him again. Well, we know one thing. If you're a defensive tackle, you've got power. And it was on display that time. Wonderful job by the big fella. Busted through there and get the sack on the QB. Something like that. Drop Straight back, like shotgun that. Shotgun formation. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Gets a hand on that one to knock it away. Um, yeah, you guys seen the adjustments there. Um, he's going to go for it here. We're going to go ahead and hit him with that exact same look, actually. So, going to actually come out in a cover. I'm going to come out in cover three. I, don't, I really don't like those cover four zones. Really don't. This is gonna be a long oh, he's kicking. All right, attempt. that's fine. We can live with that. No, it's not. Oh, it's okay. a fake. Stands in the pocket. <laughs> in, <laughs> like if you're gonna go for it in that situation, just pick a regular play. Honestly, you're, that's your best bet. Just pick a regular play and try to convert. Don't. Try to get cute with the uh, with the fake kick, but again, sometimes those cover four, the deep blues will they play kind of funny. So I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of cover four just for that reason. But it definitely has its time and place. I've definitely got my fair share of picks using the cover four. So it's not a bad defense. It's just sometimes it it acts funny. Again, we got one on one with Calvin. Second and short. Just. Nice catch. Yeah, I don't know what he's. He's, he's not going to so double them. So we keep taking advantage of it. Now we got guys in there throwing <laughs> deep down the field. Like I said, if somebody's not nice stopping catch. or even really attempting to stop throw. what you're doing, like he game, keeps bringing that safety do down, do he keeps ten. not doubling Calvin. Eyeing that left side. Oh. -ho. And it's knocked down <laughs> incomplete. I mean, he's, he's making at least an attempt now to cover Calvin, which is cool. Well, what's going to be open now are the pass lead streaks because he's going to run that safety over there. So I'm going to have these. See, so those are something that a lot of guys, you'll run it all game, you're running all game, and, you know, some guy, you will have success with that, with those pass lead streaks for a while. So you probably get to like level 800, 900, and you know they will still work. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know if I reset. Yeah, I reset this for the fourth. But uh, more or less, the player like me, I'm not gonna make that my main part of my offense because those can get picked off easy if uh, if they're expecting it. But you know that's my first time running in our game. He's definitely probably not gonna expect that. Um, and then that's how. You know, a good player would approach something like that. Um, you know, good players definitely are using pass lead streaks, pass lead fades all over the field. Uh, it just works this year, so why not use it? You know, but um, five wides for the offense. First down and ten. You have to try to stop running with him now. So yeah, that's just the overstorm brave, and we're really not making any special adjustment. Just kind of. Well, you know, you guys see, I'm just spreading the linebackers and kind of crashing out. I'm going to re-blitz this in Averill to improve his blitz angle. But, yeah, he keeps running these play actions and stuff. Oh, shoot. Empty backfield for the quarterback. Takes the stab from the shotgun, working that left side, staying with them stride for stride, and the pass is incomplete. Mm -hmm. Got to give the secondary mm -hmm. credit in this passing league. Now it's hard to make should just send him a concede, but, a but there, you know, just for the sake of the video, sake of finishing this game out, we're gonna go ahead and keep running it. 
But uh, I've definitely been putting a lot of tips within this commentary. So if you pick up on those details, man, you could definitely learn a lot from this gameplay. Even though our opponent isn't the greatest, there's definitely been a lot been done. I've been running a lot of um, higher level stuff on offense than I usually run, that I would usually show you guys. But since I can't go to Vegas, I mean, at this point, I don't even care. <laughs> so, you know, rewind, do what you got to do. But... Uh, Definitely some stuff you can take advantage of. Calvin is getting loose. I'm going to throw it to him again. I don't even care. Um, and the reason I don't care is because he doesn't care. He just, he's just not respecting me um, at all. I mean, again, he's just, just giving me that one-on-one. -on -one. Now he doubles, but it doesn't matter. Oh, see? You bring the double team, good things happen. <laughs> good things will happen. And then again, we're going to come back to this. Um, a lot of guys run this out of single back, but I'm going to go ahead and hit him with this again. So when he leaves, Pettigrew is going to be there for the inside pass lead every time. Oh, that should have been a pick. That should have definitely been a pick. Good defense. Run the same exact look, though. Because we're getting an inside position. Uh, he just jumped it that time. Oh, nice edge heat. I swear that is the same blitz everybody in their grandma <laughs> Uh, that one on that left edge. It's a really nice blitz, actually. I might have to figure out what that is. Everybody be running it. It's definitely a nice blitz. It's it's real consistent, and that blitz angle is real fast. So it's a definitely a really nice blitz to use. Definitely going to have to check it out. But it's a real nice blitz because most people bring heat from the right or double. But it's a nice left edge heat, definitely. Huh. <clears throat> And sorry if y'all are disappointed that I'm not just commentating, commentating, commentating <laughs> for like hours straight. But, you know, my voice gets a little bit sore uh, as the game goes on. So I try to mix in, you know, the tips here and there. And uh, you know, hopefully you guys can learn a lot from that. Um, again, with the Wildcat, wherever they do motions, I'm just going to go there with Tullick. So I'm going to go right. He might keep it with RG. And he still ended up going right anyway. But, hey, it is what it is. At this point, if he's running the ball, we're winning. I mean, we're, the game's decided already anyway. But, I mean, if the game was 20 points closer, you can't. At this point, you're not going to be able to just <laughs> not gonna be able to just run wildcat, read option and stuff. You can't, you can't come back with that offense. Those are good offensive plays. Well, I want to know about the Wildcat, but like the read option is a good play, but it's not a good play to come back in a game. Like I want to make that your comeback offense. The dude on the left is wide. Do you see him? Yes, you do. He caught it, and he's going to be tackled right around the 37. Well, you saw why defense. We're going to go ahead and hit him with a little zone. When they play against this quarterback, beautiful long throw down the field for the big completion. First down, following the long play. Play action now, again. Throwing now to his left. Oh, away well, That's we have made the adjustment. So, if you're running man a lot and you go ahead and switch it to a zone, you can catch somebody off guard. Uh, if you're running zone a lot and you switch it to a man, you can catch somebody off guard. So, definitely you want to mix both in. You don't want to be a guy who runs it all game. Like, uh, you can run zone 90% of the game, and then when you do mix in that man, you're good. Or you can run man 90% of the game, and you mix in that zone that other 10%, you're good. Because you just want to make sure when you do mix in that zone, you know, you're covering what needs to be covered. And you'll be straight. Oh, good catch. Santana. Getting big on me. Cracked helmet, I guess. That's what they call it. <laughs> oh, gosh. We're on a little edge thing here. Flat. Flat. Oh, gosh. The QB try. I knew it was running with the QB. But... Oh, man. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. Oh. <sighs> 
this point, I knew the onside was coming, but really didn't matter. And, yeah. With Cincy onside, we're going to go ahead and just keep trying to score. Not to run it up or anything, but if you're just going to keep onside and all game long, make pay for that. Out of the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. The Stafford is just missing terribly no this game. Good job that time by the he is just missing. This is one reason I, I, I don't think I could use the Lions just after this performance. I just can't I can't afford a QB to miss that many times in a game to such wide open receivers. Like he's coming in late with that delayed. I don't even know what he's trying to do, but he's like Moving his coverage down every time and not giving any safety help. So, that was open every time. And there we go. That's a prime example of the, the up on the, the kick paying off. He could have blocked it, but since it was up, it's tougher. Just a little bit tougher to block. Not 100% foolproof, but it is a little bit tougher to block. I would probably shoot that much. Your percentage, the percentages of them blocking it go down. And anything to increase your percentages is something I would do. You know, there's enough fluke stuff that'll happen in this game. There's enough, you know, wild things, wild plays. So you got to play their percentages, you know. You know, you can catch it on someone all game long. No problem. But the percentages of you holding on to it, over the course of the game aren't going to pay off for you. Um, I guess my equivalent to that would be, you know, if you're in elementary, you're, in, you're coaching a fifth grade team, you don't want your fifth grade team shooting threes all game because at that age, you know, their percentages of hitting a, a high school three, you know, they might hit a couple, but over the course of the game, their percentage isn't going to be that well or it's not going to be that high. And due to that, it's probably you're probably not gonna win too many games. Like you might win a game or two, but if you're shooting threes all day, every day, you know what I mean? As a fifth grade team, and that's all you can do is shoot threes, you're not gonna win too many games. Like don't get me wrong, if you play some great D and stuff, you can definitely win, but as far as being an effective offense, it's not going to be an effective offense because it's not going to be as consistent. And that's what matters. You gotta, you gotta get an offense that is consistent. That's like the big thing is consistency. Oh man, we can't. Oh man, we can't get that big hit with Sue there. All right, I'm, I'm gonna let him to run it again because I'm gonna pop him. It's all I'm about gonna pop him one time. Who can hit? Which one of their safeties hit? Bartell? No, front. that's a corner. Dumbass. All right, I guess Dumbass. Dog, I, I wanted that linebacker. I wanted that linebacker bad. <laughs> I wanted to hit him. But hey, we got the win. You know, we did. Came through, accomplished what we needed to. And um, hopefully, you guys learn quite a bit from this and uh, whatnot. Definitely, definitely a lot of exciting plays. No lack of that. <laughs> um, again, no turnovers. He only turned it over once, but again, third and fourth down. As I've said before, if you get them to fourth and they don't convert, that's a turnover. So even though he only had one turnover, to me, I see four turnovers because he got stopped on fourth three times. So you got to add those. Anytime you miss on this fourth, you add it to this, and that's another turnover in Madden. Um, the only time that isn't true, um, trying to think. The only time that isn't true is at like the end of the half or the end of the game. Uh, if if you're trying to kill the rest of the half, and you know you just go for it because there's two seconds left, and you know, you don't want to punt the ball, obviously, because there's two seconds left. So you just kind of pick a pass play and throw it out after a couple seconds. You know, then that one, then that would be an exception to the rule. But generally speaking, add the, add the turnovers to however many you miss here. Um, and you want to keep your third down percentage high and you'll be good to go. But, you know, we'll get into more tips. You know, we got a lot more gameplays and stuff that will be coming. So I'm not even stressing it. You guys hopefully learned a lot from this. Until um, the next time, man, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a thumbs up if you did, and uh, subscribe for more. And, again, let me know 
if y'all prefer the halves or the quarters to this point, would you prefer to see the games in quarters or would you prefer to see them in halves? Um, I'm going to do a full game, a full, full game with no breaks the next time. And, uh, you know, out of the three, you guys will just let me know what you want to see the most. And then we'll go ahead and do that. So I appreciate y'all for sticking through this long. Till the next time, this your boy Master Chappie. We go.